right okay guys it's time to now run the wires from your stock stereo or your upgraded stereo speakers to your new amp that's going to run your new set of speakers in a door card in your door panel should i say um so i've got my speaker wire loudspeaker cable again i will post links below for this cable where you can buy it from as with any product i use in this lot then what i'm gonna do is from there to the front of the car and then cut it that's one that's one if you need two like that I'll cut me wires now what I'm gonna do is I've got two ends put in a bit of electrical tape around them what I'm gonna do with this is run these into the boot from obviously the cabin here I'm gonna tuck them up same spot as the RCA cables Should be around here somewhere. There they are. Okay. Pull a good cup of foot through. And what I'm going to do is feed these cables through by your RCA cables. Okay, now we've run some cables in for the speakers. I'm going to run them along the side of the door panel, you know, like we've done with the RCA cables and then run them up to wherever they need to go on the cables I showed you earlier on. Uh, so I'm gonna crack on with that one now. So now what I'm doing is I'm gonna feed, oh, I'm not gonna put the camera. Okay, so what I'm doing now, like I say, is I'm going to feed these cables from the boot now to the front, taking the same route as I did with the RCA cables. Go to the other side. As I say, the same route as the RCA cables. What I'll do when I'm all done, I'll go along with some cable ties and cable tie it all in. Make it look nice and neat. Okay, so when you get up the, up to here, this next hole's a little bit tighter. So put a bit of electric tape around it so you can tack them through together at the same time. Then what you want to do is you want to go under this loom here and through the hole where the RCA's are. Might take a couple of attempts, there we go. But once you get them through, there you go. I'm going to run these in parallel straight with the um, RCA cables which run now along here, up here, to here. And I'm going to go straight into the loom here. I can cut it here to stop the stereo and then tap straight into it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to crimp them. So if at a later date they need to be removed, you can do. Uh, so. Let's do that now. Let's pull this back down so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so as you can see there, that's how my RC cable, RCA cables go. So I'm gonna run exactly the same place. Once all this is done, I will, like I say, tidy it all up, cable ties, make it look nice and tidy. So now we're here, we've got it this far, we need to now fish it up, up to the top. 
so it comes up out of here so I'm gonna crack on now get that next bit done As you can see, I've still got plenty of wiring on it. So we're going to come up. And what I've decided to do is, like I say, I'm going to tap into the back of this bit here. Because I've got both cables running into it already, so I might as well tap into it. It's easier, there's less wiring to put the kick panel back in. I'm even going to run my Xbox, in the power, my Xbox? The power inverter for, for the Xbox wire. The same way I never switch on the dash. Right, okay, so just thought I'd say one thing though. If you don't if you, if you plan on keeping the vehicle for as long as you can, then it don't matter if you cut into these. But if you plan on maybe in the future getting rid of the car, you know, selling it on, then I wouldn't cut into these. I'd go into the patch loom from your aftermarket radio, which is just the other side of this. I can't get to so I'm gonna because I'm not planning on getting rid of the car in any hurry I'm just gonna cut here so this side okay runs to the radio so you, you can take that up and get rid of that this side is the side that will run to the speakers your door cards okay okay it's a bit awkward to see me at this angle but I'm trying to give you the best you know so you can see what I'm doing I'm installing as you know component speakers so they run the um, wire from the amp up to the front for your speakers in your pack whatever component speakers you've got you'll get a crossfader with an input, right, and it'll have a tweeter output and a woofer output. So what you want to do is with the cable you've run from the cable you've run uh, from the boot from your amp, these wires here. You want to put positive to positive, negative to negative. And then that's your crossfader installed. Now what you want to do is with the wires I've cut over here and I've put, as you can see, the crimps on there. Because that's for the woofer that goes into the door panel, you get your woofer side on cable on here. And you've already, mine's come with two little pieces on there already. So what I can do is with the positive, And you can connect these up. One. Two. And that's the woofer attached. What you've got to do now is plug the tweeter in. Tuck it under there. Run, because the tweeter's going, my tweeter's going in the A pillar. That's another video. To do that and uh, I'm gonna call it a day now the tweeters are indoors in fact that actually no I've got a tweeter up here there's one of my tweeters and you might need to expand some cable on these but negative and positive as so And that's the tweeter done as well. So I'm gonna have to oh, excuse me, I'm gonna have to make some extension cable on this just so I can get it up. Because I'm locating these in the A pillars. So that's another video I'm showing you how to make the pods for them. It's gonna be done over a couple of videos over a couple of weeks. So this is another part of the video done. This is showing you how to install the wiring for it all 
So, you know, if you like the videos, hit the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. And thanks for watching. Bye for now.